morning everyone uh, welcome back my channel health fitness one out for seven my name is dragon editor dragon with you a happy day uh, and a good day and now here is the official news follow up One, what to know about Metallica's 2025 M72 North American tour Metallica is set to embark on a North American tour in 2025, featuring multiple shows with special guests like Limp Bizkit, Pantera, Ice Nine Kills and Suicidal Tendencies on select dates. The tour will continue their no-repeat weekend tradition, offering unique experiences with different setlists and opening bands each night. Named after their latest album, 72 Seasons, released in 2023, the M72 World Tour will include 18 shows across 14 cities and two festival stops. Fans are eagerly anticipating this tour from one of the greatest heavy metal bands of all time. 2. Miley Cyrus and Bruno Mars, Flowers, Lawsuit why She's Being Sued Miley Cyrus' hit song, Flowers, became a major success in 2023, earning her a Grammy Award. However, it has faced speculation regarding its similarity to Bruno Mars' When I Was Your Man. Recently, Miley was hit with a lawsuit from Tempo Music Investments, which owns a copyright share of Mars' song, claiming there are striking similarities between the two tracks. The lawsuit, filed in Los Angeles, also targets several companies involved in distributing flowers, including Sony Music Publishing and major retailers like Apple, Target, and Walmart. Bruno Mars himself is not named in the lawsuit. 3. Glorilla. Five things about the Tomorrow Two Feet rapper performing at the 2024 VMAs Glorilla is emerging as a leading figure in the next generation of rap superstars. Expressing excitement about being part of a new wave in hip-hop, she will perform at the 2024 Video Music Awards on September 11, following her recognition in the 2023 XXL Freshman class. Glorilla has had a successful year with the release of her single, TGIF, and two albums, Ya yeah Glow, Alternate Versions, and Ethang Ethang. She attributes her success to staying humble, working hard, and maintaining a clear vision. Even if she doesn't win at the awards, she is determined to continue her rise in the industry. 4. The White Stripes Lawsuit Against Donald Trump for Seven Nation Army what we know the White Stripes, consisting of Jack White and Meg White, have filed a lawsuit against Donald Trump due to the unauthorized use of their song, Seven Nation Army, in a campaign video. Jack announced the lawsuit on Instagram, stating, This machine sues fascists. The legal action was initiated in early September after Trump's campaign used the song in a social media video without permission. 5. Kendrick Lamar's 2025 Super Bowl halftime performance, inside the upcoming show Kendrick Lamar will headline the 2025 Super Bowl halftime show, as announced by both him and the NFL on September 8, 2024. He joins a prestigious lineup of past performers, including Usher and Jennifer Lopez. In a statement, Kendrick emphasized the significance of rap music, stating, Rap music is still the most impactful genre to date. The announcement was made in a video where he is seen on a football field, preparing for the event. Six. Why was Green Day rushed off the stage in Detroit? Inside the drone situation during Green Day's concert in Detroit on September 4th, Confusion arose when a drone flew over Comerica Park. 
prompting the band to leave the stage. A sign reading, show pause, please stand by for details was displayed, leaving the audience puzzled. After a brief delay, the band returned. And lead vocalist Billy Joe Armstrong checked on the crowd's well-being and encouraged them to enjoy the moment without their phones. Green Day's social media account later provided updates regarding the incident. 7. Who is Emily Armstrong? Five things to know about Linkin Park's new singer Linkin Park has announced a reunion for a new tour in music, seven years after the death of their frontman Chester Bennington. They have brought in Emily Armstrong, lead singer of Dead Sarah, as a co-vocalist, along with new drummer Colin Britton. The band debuted their new single, The Emptiness Machine, during a live stream featuring returning members Mike Shinoda. Brad Delson, Dave, Phoenix, Farrell, and Joe Hahn. Shinoda acknowledged Bennington's legacy during the event, and Armstrong shared that her dead Sarah bandmates encouraged her to take on this new role. 8. Sabrina Carpenter Achieves Her First Number One album with Short and Sweet, Sabrina Carpenter has achieved significant success with her latest album, Short and Sweet Asterisk, which debuted at number one on the Billboard chart. This marks her first number. One album, with all 12 songs making it onto the Billboard Hot 100. Notably, three of her tracks reached the top five, placing her among only three women, alongside Taylor Swift and Ariana Grande, to achieve this feat simultaneously. The album sold 362,000 units in its opening week. Surpassing Travis Scott's re-released mixtape, which sold 361,000 units. This opening week is the third best of the year, following Swift and Beyonce's releases. 9. Lady Gaga Unveils, LG7, album release in new photo Lady Gaga has announced the upcoming release of her seventh studio album, LG7, revealing that the first single will drop in October. She shared this news on September 3rd through social media, alongside her busy schedule that includes various events leading up to the premiere of her new movie, Joker, Folie Dur, on October 4th. Recently, Gaga attended the Venice International Film Festival with her fiancé, Michael Polanski, and has been active in music, having released a single with Bruno Mars earlier this summer. 10. Victoria Monet and Usher debut sensual new single. SOS Victoria Monet and Usher have collaborated on a new track titled SOS Sex on Sight, which is part of Monet's upcoming Jaguar 2 Deluxe project. Released on August 27, the song is produced by Camper and marks the first official collaboration between the two R&B artists. Monet describes the song as exploring themes of desire and urgency for love and physical connection, likening it to the need for rescue from one's own sensual urges. Earlier this year, Monet and Tiana Taylor honored Usher with a performance at the 2024 BET Awards, where he received the Lifetime Achievement Award.